Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Now in the um, Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group every month we have a challenge and um, I got inspired by a couple of different people's suggestions and also re-watching a M4 Art 2D video um, where she does the tray swipes and um, I thought I'd give it another go I have given it a go in the past and Claire also suggested that we do a non white or black um, negative space so even though my hands are completely covered in black <laughs> Um, this is not going to have white or black negative space. It's going to have this light green that I mixed up for my giant pour. And I still have quite a bit of it there. And so I'm going to use that for the negative space. And I've really enjoyed those last few videos. Um, the combination of the phthalo blue, that green, and... Um, the copper now I'm probably not going to put enough in here and I'm going to kick myself and all that stuff but I'm going to give it a go and see what gets created uh, I am going to put some white in in there and some copper if I can get any out of here come on copper you can do this where's my stick Now you might notice that I am still set up on my children's pottery wheel that I use for spinning. And the reason for that is um, I'm going to spin, I'm going to put the negative space on and spin it out to try and get an even, an even coat. Uh, I probably should have done it on the short side. Oh well. Um, I think I've done this really wrongly, but that's okay. Let's try it anyway. I'm going to put a bit more. Put more blue in there. And a bit more red in there. So I'm going to move this aside while I do the... Ah, oh, I need to keep it even though. Um, while I do the negative space. Right. So I'm just going to turn it on slow, um, low and let it spin itself out. Actually, I'm going to put it on high. Sorry about the noise. Alright. So now we have a nice reasonably even coat. I say reasonably. <laughs> much better than if I'd used a spatula because I'm really not good at making anything flat with a spatula and um, now the only thing I've just thought of is this silicon in that and when you do negative space you don't normally put silicon in it uh, which 
concerns me slightly, but I'm not seeing any, now that I've torched it, I'm not seeing any holes appearing right the way down to the vinyl, down to the record, so that's a bonus. Uh, all right, so the way she usually does it, M, M for Art 2D, is she'll take it up and then she'll twist and come back. I'm not sure whether I'm going to get this working all right, but let's give it a go. Uh, I'm just going to let the paint run. Come on. Ah. No, I don't have enough paint. <laughs> okay, that was a diabolical mess. Let's see what happens when we spin up. Kind of funky. Kind of funky indeed. Hmm. I wonder. I just put a bit more here. spin that out no more is less less is more cock and pod all of that one of those ones that somebody is just gonna go oh. once we put some white um clock hands on it i think that'll be cool that's weird weird wacky and wonky and i learned to listen there didn't i all right let's see how it dries who knows what comes of things that we don't expect? <laughs> and how does it get any better? All right, I will be back with this one when it's dry in three, two, one. All right, here it is. How's it get any better than this? Oh my goodness. It's funky, it's cool, and I reckon once we've got some hands on that, it will look amazing. I am so looking forward to this. Actually, just wait right there. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> that looks cool. Um, now, I do need to, you know, full disclosure and all that, uh, having had the silicon in the background paint, I do have these weird things, little blobby bits where the silicon's done something to the colour. But hey, what's right about that I'm not getting. They still look cool and I really like it. So, if you like it, let me know in the comments. If you want to buy it, let me know that too. Um, and how much more fun can we have spinning paint? Mmm. What else is possible? <laughs> All right. 
Oh, and for those of you that are in the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group, and those of you that aren't, you can come join us. Um, the uh, challenge for J -J 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 July is 3D pouring. Uh, had lots of really cool ideas, and who knows, they might come to fruition over the coming months. But 3D pouring, I think my rock kind of started that one off. And uh, what can you pour on? What can we, what else can you pour on this month that you wouldn't have thought of pouring on before? Maybe that's it. What can you pour on that you wouldn't have thought of pouring on before? All right, I adore you all. Come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Sign up at mickeyart.com forward slash sign up so that you can get notifications of um, when I am going live and what's new in the shop and stuff like that. And also, thank you all who have subscribed to my channel. I am so blown away and so grateful that you all choose to follow me. Um, hitting 10,000 subscribers I'm just kind of like whoa how cool is that it's just rocking my world I'm super grateful and um, if you haven't subscribed already come play speed us through to that next target and um, how much fun can we have together I adore you all and I will see you really soon bye